I had never written a song under those type, under that type of pretense. Everyone at this table would probably agree on some level that, you know, there is a level of blacking out when you write. It's like this tug of war, a great tug of war between the conscious and the unconscious mm -hmm. brain f for me. And like you said, a, a, a feeling. Mm -hmm. I think I was afraid to go, go into this because I was like, well, there's probably going to be more frivolity to it than like substance. But then I looked at the story and I'm like, wait, hold on. We have a female protagonist that has a belly, crazy hair for young females to get to see that. You know, that's that's not frivolous at all. Like mm -hmm. that's so important. Mm -hmm. And what a cool way into, you know, getting them oh, into the theater to like, I want to be like Princess Poppy, <laughs> not Barbie. Yes. Right. You know, the movie to me, I've, when I was looking at all the materials they would send me for the scene, I felt like I was tripping, you know, like, or what it must feel like to be tripping, <laughs> watching like, <laughs> watching a, a, like an ABBA video. And so, I don't know, it just felt like, the whole thing felt like disco. So I think that was probably the first way in was just to try to make the song feel like modern, but disco. There had to be like, almost like I, I kept referencing like Grease and, Saturday Night Fever and Urban Cowboy. I don't know why I just picked three movies with hmm. John Travolta. And I, <laughs> um, maybe that says more about me than anything. But, now I know. <laughs> but yes. Um, um, but those movies came out, um, and the soundtrack to those movies was sort of felt like it went hand in hand. 